I've interviewed some significant PJ pros in South Africa, Chris Bentley, Jeff Claus, Derek James, a, a multiple winner on the tour, and they have all chosen this hole as as what their eleventh hole. So talk us through your eleventh hole. Yeah, the eleventh hole, uh, my choice, which is my third choice. It's the eleventh on Royal Johannesburg East, which I play often. Uh, thanks very much to Chris Bentley. He's a, a fantastic host. Uh, I'll be there again tomorrow, as I just mentioned. And it's a hole that yesterday the All Blacks got to experience. And I actually asked Chris uh, how, how did they do it. And he said he didn't hear anything afterwards, uh, only that, as they always say, that they absolutely had the course, which which goes without saying. Sure. But uh, the 11th is undoubtedly their, their signature hole. You're looking at around, I'd say, 430 meters. It's a par four, a long par four. And back to back with the 10th, it actually, for a very, very long time, this is an interesting stat, uh, for many years, it was the longest back to back par fours in the world on a golf course. Uh, it's since been overtaken by a couple of courses, but I mean, it held that record for a very, very long time. So you finish up on the 10th, a very long par four, and then you get to the 11th, and uh, you're welcomed by an equally long uh, monster. But the, the great thing is, you start off on an elevated tee box. Uh, you can have a look around, survey the splendor ahead of you, and you think, ah, oh, what are you going to do? You can see the green kind of in the distance. Uh, it's not an island green, but it is surrounded by water. So you do go around it. Um, but it is an absolute sensational stroke one. Uh, fairway, dog legs to the right before you're greeted by. It's a serene but narrow green surrounded by water and sand. So you've got the water in the front. You've got sand behind it elevated sand as well uh, you've got to be pitch perfect to get it on um if you get it on then two you're an incredible player have i got it on in two i have but oh. that's because i play the course so much um but i've got it on two on one occasion uh, it was a huge celebration again when i did it uh but it is just spectacular and and again because you're on an elevated part uh you you, you walk down you had a nice drive dog legs to the right and then you come around and i haven't been to augusta but it does have very much an Augusta feel to me. I could imagine that's what Augusta would resemble because, again, uh, the East is a Parklands course, a Woodlands course, so a green, a lot of trees. You come around that dog leg, and there you see the green in the distance, but stopping you from getting there is a lot of water in front and uh, a lot of sand behind. 